Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday morning. What is this, April the 20th? Had a long day yesterday. I was trying to film an outro, and uh, the 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 uh, memory card got full. That's a 128 gig hard drive. Oh, memory card. That's what I filled up yesterday on these uh, videos. Uh, I got one video posted, as y'all probably saw. And I was working on a dirt video, but it's, it's just so much with the dirt videos. I mean, the, the little stuff I do is easy, but there's so much involved in this. Anyways, we got all the stubs sticking up. I got the dirt pushed around. I hadn't packed none of it yet. I got to pack all this. I got to finish packing this and then get it back smooth. Uh, we've got the first 20 foot of pipe in. So, yeah, you can see it down there. Yeah, that. And so, uh, what we're going to do first thing is just keep bringing this out. A uh, 70 foot run, quarter inch to the foot is 17.5 inch drop. So, we're going to be around two foot deep when we get out here. Well, really less than that because right here is the edge of the shed. You can't really see that. But about where the edge of my truck is, is about the end of the, end of the shed. They were putting on and then it starts falling off so it won't be that much of a drop right there really and uh i got the paperwork printed out found for the uh septic tank application here in my county we don't have inspections for buildings or anything like that the only thing we have is you have to have a permit uh for the uh septic tank so we're going to we're going to fill this thing out we're gonna try to get we're gonna try to get all this done it's it's kind of late oh let me show you what else i got it's uh it's 905 it's late i started at like 6 45 but went and got some wood got the tube assists for the forms i had i already had some of these you know but i had to buy two more pieces of pipe i had to buy these and i had to buy a few uh couplings oh i got an idea my old boss at Mando, Danny. He used to hate my ideas, but he'd always admit it at the end. It was, they was usually come out pretty good. All right, so this is a shed, right? I'm putting the air compressors right out here somewhere, okay? What if I put, go ahead and put the plumbing in in case I ever put a uh, half bath out here? I mean, you know, maybe, maybe I find that that is not enough room to have two half baths right there. Maybe I just have one half bath for the customer and I put my half bath out here. I mean, I don't care for compressors behind, you know, on the wall right next to me and running. I'm going there again. It comes down to the, while you're doing it, it's easier to add it now than later. Way easier. So this is the, here's the footing. All right, here's the line when we coming out. I'm going to drop a four inch right here and it'd be a clean out, but it'll also be, uh, for a toilet sometime and i'm gonna go ahead and bring a two inch up too you know for the drain for the sink maybe a water fountain you know i don't know there ain't no telling but i'm gonna drop that thing right about here yeah right about where my foot is even if it's a further back and the toilet faces the you know you're facing the back wall of the shop it don't matter you know it's, it's not gonna be nothing fancy this would definitely just be an employee or if somebody wants to come out here and use it can come out here i don't care but I'm going I'm going to be at 30 foot mark, and that only give me 40 more foot to get to the septic tank. And uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and do another clean out, just in case. This is what it could be, because you know you use a toilet for a clean out. You you just pull the toilet, and you use it to clean out lines anyhow. Uh, because it's nothing to put a new wax seal down and reset the toilet. You know, that's just how that's just how you do it. So. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do for here. That'll give me a little bit easier. I can put a spout, a spigot. I may put a spigot in here. No, I'm not gonna put a spigot in here because it's not concrete floors. Uh, you don't want to never use a uh, water on gravel under a shed, under a roof. It, it it'll start molding and start getting that mossy stuff all in it. You know, it's just a bad situation, which most of y'all know anyhow. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's see how much we can get done. I don't have no nothing on the agenda today except to eat some Daniel's hamburgers, 
I'm gonna get my mom to go get some of them here in a little while. Uh, for fixing my, fixing her fuel pump yesterday, she said she go get me some. I'm looking forward to that. So uh, let's get to it. Y'all, y'all have a good one. So the edge of the building is right here and you got an inch and a half of steel this would be that would put it at uh, just under three foot to the center that'd be about right for your feet facing that way that won't hurt nothing will All I'm gonna have is one cold line coming out here. You ain't gonna have no hot water at the sink. Have the sink sitting right over there. Even if you turn it this way, you got a little ways to walk in too. All right, yeah, let's do that. That way we ain't wasting no pipe.
Well, we uh, we figured 70 foot from the bathrooms would be enough. But of course, it's not. Here's the end of 70 foot. We thought we'd put the septic tank, but it's still in this uh, packed ground. We got a little bit, you know, some dirt removed in here, so we can't put field line in in disturbed. It has to, it has to be undisturbed ground to put your field lines in here, uh, or you have to have all kinds of engineering and perk tests and uh, all kind of stuff. So we're gonna go. 30 more foot, bring it down here and put the septic tank, cause this is where we was wanting it, it's right in here. So that's all undisturbed. We can go a hundred foot down through there, putting a uh, field line in. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna have to get some more pipe. And uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, well, let's just enjoy some more digging. See ya. All right, like I said, we figured out we have to go further, so my dad went to go get some more PVC. I'm about where we need to be. Oh, I'm tired. So, I'm gonna go up here, start packing and working with this dirt around all these uh, stubs I got sticking up. Uh, so, Y'all welcome to follow along. I got plenty of shovels. I promise, come on over and help.
been a rough day. It's about 3.30. I'm going since 9. Man, I'm going to slap out today. We got about 100 foot of pipe there. We uh, got a rain on it. And one of this has to be inspected. And we live in the home and left. All we have to have is take it and set it to the lines. Start getting that permit process going here pretty pretty quick. We're going to go ahead and get this safety tank for a long. Uh, what else? Hey, did I miss some time? <laughs> uh, let me show y'all something. This right here. Bought it at an auction one day. Pretty sure it's uh, for the guide wires, for telephone poles. You know, the tables go around. Sunk in. You can see the bent right here and the ends cut off. This right here is the best thing to pack with that I have had. I don't, I don't think I've ever used anything any better. It packs it good and tight, small. You know, so about the half size. About, it's less than the size of your fist. This thing weighs probably 45 pounds. 40 pounds, 44, 40 to 45 pounds, somewhere in that range. Until it may surprise me, maybe 50 or more. It's solid steel. But let me tell you one thing. I'd rather use a freaking pick than this. A pick will wear you out. This right here will kill you. <laughs> I gotta be careful. I'm getting a little old to be using these things out here in this heat. But it's only getting hotter here in Alabama. So I'm going to finish packing up around here, around these poles, get up there around them, around all them uh, pipes. Uh, I'll call it a day today. We're going to start with uh, foam boards tomorrow. But this right here is going to be just about the end of all the rough plumbing. Uh, I'll let y'all watch a little bit, but here's the, outro, the, the outro as I see it called on uh, Facebook. On, I mean, I'm sorry. Not Facebook. YouTube. Still new to this YouTube, you know, so I'm getting used to all the lingo. So for my outro, I guarantee you what I did was right. It's dropping exactly a quarter inch to the foot. There's not no accidentally digging too deep and then just letting it fly. Nope, I packed dirt back up under it. And uh, uh, got it right. So some places there's six or seven inches of dirt up under the pipe. But that's what this is for. Pack it dirt back down around that uh, pipe and back up under it, and it packs it back in. And uh, that's that's how you know it's done right. There's no dirt, no trash inside the pipe. Uh, all the all the joints are primed and glued right. Clean, primed, and glued. Uh, I've got all my plumbing that I that I wanted. Okay, I don't need any more than what I got. I got enough for. Uh, two maybe three half baths I don't know I probably just have two but then I got enough for my upstairs uh, shower and washing machine so I can get a shower and all before I go home if I'm real nasty uh, I got a drain right there for my water fountain I got the drain for the cut the sink and the uh, uh, the sink and the kitchen area I got the vent going where I wanted it. It is a straight line all the way from that clean out on the outside of the building straight to the septic tank. Straight line. There's only one thing that's off of that line. That's one of the half bath toilets. And uh, everything else dumps directly into that straight line. So it's four inch pipe, that thick, thick, they call it cell core now, but that's, I used to always call it schedule 40. Um, but it's the thick pipe, so we ain't got to never worry about nothing. So we got, it's about a, it's over a hundred foot. And that clean out to the end of the pipe down there where the septic tank's gonna be. It's right at or just over a hundred foot. It's 70 foot two inches from that clean out to the end of, to, to where the septic tank is. 10, 20, 30, shoot, it's 110 foot. <laughs> but we got it like we wanted. We didn't. 
We didn't halfway do it. Uh, it, it was pretty deep right in there. It's pretty it's about three to three and a half foot deep in places. But it wound up coming almost to the ground level at that end. So uh, we'll dig back, drop it down, whatever we gotta do, and uh, we'll have it uh, all fixed up just right. So I appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all have a great day. Build it, don't don't hire nobody. Do it yourself. You know, you know it's done right. And uh, you can say you built it. You can say you you did all the work, and there's a lot of pride in that. A lot. Plus, you save a lot of money. I promise you. Alright. I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all subscribe. Comment. Please comment. Ask me anything. Ask me why I'm wearing this shirt. I don't care. <laughs> y'all have a great day.